Yeah, it's not, TikTok's just getting more annoying. <laughs> like they're putting precautions in place that do nothing. But I don't know, I guess it's a work in progress. It's frightening that they can even tell what you're doing because it's just like, they must just be scanning your stuff all the time. Constantly. Apparently there's like certain things, like if you, um, because I signed up for the, uh, the TikTok shop thing and apparently like, if you, if you sign up for the TikTok shop and you have that now linked, so I have that little showcase thing in my bio, now they don't want you to verbally say things like Amazon wish list or any other kind of like links anywhere else. Um, but it's interesting and concerning that it's like that level. But I don't really see what, what the issue is if I wanted to mention my like Amazon um, storefront or this or that like what does it matter if i'm not i'm on my own time i'm not on tiktok's time tiktok's not paying me i feel like i should be able to mention whatever links i want to mention regarding that like i don't see really what's the difference between amazon storefront and tiktok shop I think the only, I would say probably the only thing that I think is a benefit of TikTok shop is that they are, uh, oh, thank you for that. They always have like deals going on. I understand that that's what they want, but it shouldn't be a forced thing. If I choose to link that, or if I choose to do whatever, then I should be able to. But if I, if I want, because TikTok shop doesn't have everything. Oh, sorry, I was trying to like play around with something. Thank you for the roses. Wow, that's creepy. I it, it honestly, it is like that because I'll talk about something and then all of a sudden it'll be like on my for you page. Like my friends and I will joke about it and it'll be like, I haven't seen anything about it, but I'm sure I will now. <laughs> and it always goes that way. I'm surprised that TikTok hasn't been showing me more La Crusade stuff because that is something that I've actually been searching, but instead they're, oh, you know what I'm seeing a lot, which is really sad. Do you, did you guys used to follow that Marissa, I mean that, that Kyle Marissa Roth? Ugh. I like couldn't believe it. I was really shocked that that happened. I was, that was not news that I was expecting. Like I was really sad about that actually. I think that's like the second TikToker that I've watched that has passed away. It's like something about it is more jarring than like any other social media platform for me. It's just kind of like you get used to seeing multiple videos a day or like a lot more content than like a YouTube or something like that. But man, when like a TikToker goes, you're just like, it doesn't feel real. No, sir, you're on the wrong site. Go to my other site, it's linked, but my TikTok chat is not for that. Because honestly, nothing annoys me more is like that they're also being cheap about it. You know, don't come on here asking for free shit. Anyway, um, but yeah, that was something that was like really shocking that happened this week that I wasn't expecting. It was sad to hear about it. I know people are saying that there's like a conspiracy with it or something, but I don't think it's that. Um, people were saying that it was like colon cancer or something like that, so it's sad. It's just, it's weird when you watch someone so frequently and then you realize like you're never gonna see another video from them.
Thanks for the rose, but that's not what I mean. Anyways. But yeah, I couldn't believe that. All right, go charge your phone. What? Thanks for the chilies. But again, that's not what I meant. Are any of the people that were on here earlier on here? I think like a couple of the girls are still on here. I know you're here. Is Ari still here? I didn't think so. I think I'm gonna stay on for like maybe a little bit longer. We'll see if like the crowd picks up in here or not. If not, then we'll just kinda, we'll kinda go. Was there a disagreement? Where? What are you talking about? I'm not gonna talk to you about stuff like that on here. That's not what my TikTok Live is for. If you, that's what you're looking for, you need to get on somebody else's TikTok Live. Um, it's it's not a disagreement. He, it, this is somebody that if you're if you weren't following the chat, then don't worry about it. Because if you don't know what it is, then don't, it doesn't matter. Um, no, I only speak English. Um, what was I gonna say? You know what I'm surprised is every live is different. This live, I'm surprised that I haven't gotten like a bunch of like random, not ghost accounts, but like random accounts like asking to, to like co-host. Not that I would allow it, but I'm surprised that that hasn't been. Cause normally I feel like it's always that for the first however long. Hmm. No, but the issue was with that guy, which I don't know if he's still on here or not. He said he was leaving. But the issue with that guy is he was he was talking about sort of like some fetishy shit and trying to get me to do free shit on the live. So that's why that's what I was telling him, like. Don't be doing that on here. That's what the issue was with him. So that's what I was talking about. Who did I just see come in? Did I just see Mike come in? Um, this live has been not good. <laughs> How are you? I'm gonna start like taking notes of like what days and which times. Uh, just people were being annoying, of course. 
but um, I'm gonna take notes of like which days and which times are like no goes for, for TikTok Live. So we already know no late nights, probably no weekend. Even now might be too late, honestly. I think it's the best when I come on at like 4 p.m., like four to six, but I was busy earlier, so I didn't get a chance to. Yeah, pretty much. Just like people that shouldn't really even be on here. <laughs>